Hi Virgo, Sun, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your Love in General reading for June 2022. I'll be taking a look at your love interest, how they're viewing you, their feelings and actions they plan on taking, as well as some general messages and some other good stuff. Virgo, please keep in mind that this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. And I also want to mention that there is a false person out there stealing my audio and my titles. If you come across this individual, please report them. And please keep in mind that I do not offer personal readings and I will never ask you for money. And I do not have social media, Facebook, Instagram, none of that stuff. So, all right, Virgo, let's go ahead and see what does this person on your mind want to tell you? What are their current feelings for you, their energy surrounding you at this time? Okay, and just Holy Spirit. Two more. What does this person want to tell Virgo? One more. For the energy surrounding Virgo. Okay. So, under the deck you have, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. And I'm starting to understand our connection. I bury myself in work to forget you and we will be together again. So Virgo, I feel like you are not with this person at this time. In fact, I don't even think you guys are communicating. If so, very little. I feel like this person's finally starting to come to that realization that you are very special in their life. You're very important to them. And I feel like right now, you know, they're having a little bit of regret a little bit of nostalgia for some of you this person could have left you they could have maybe ghosted you or broken up with you and i feel like it was very difficult for this person and spirit is saying that at that time things could have been very difficult or at that time maybe one of you were already committed or going through some personal things okay if there wasn't another third person involved you definitely are dealing with someone who possibly distracts themselves with work to not think about you, to not miss you. Let's go ahead and dig further. All right, God, angels, Holy Spirit, please give me clear messages. How is this person viewing Virgo at this time? How is this person viewing Virgo? How is this person currently viewing Virgo? Okay. Two of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse, and the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay. So you could definitely be dealing with someone who has Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their chart. Strong fire energy here. I feel like they're viewing you distant, possibly going into a new direction here. Yeah, for some of you, you could be at a distance from this person. Or again, this is them viewing you as like choosing a new direction, choosing a different direction. But what's interesting, Virgo, is that I'm picking up an energy of them viewing you as having some type of false new start. I'm going to go ahead and clarify. Cross watchers, please keep in mind this could be vice versa. And this is not going to resonate with all of you, okay? Let's see. what. Why is the two of wands here in reverse for how this person is viewing Virgo? Getting to the spirit. Four of Wands. So they could be viewing you as a twin flame or someone they have a very strong connection with here. Again, I'm feeling the energy of distance or they could be viewing you like already in a commitment or already living with someone. Why is the Ace of Wands here in reverse? This could also be them viewing you as Someone that they want to have a family with. Someone that they want to have a future with. Marriage for some of you. Why is the Ace of Wands here in reverse for how this person is viewing? Virgo, the High Priest is here. Pisces energy. Tell me more. The Queen of Wands in reverse. They could be viewing you, Virgo, like you decided to go into a new direction, possibly with someone else. Could be a Leo, maybe a Sagittarius, Pisces here. If you are not with this person right now, Virgo, which I feel like if this is resonating, 
you most likely are not. They could be viewing you like already happy in a new connection here. Let's see. Tell me about the Queen of Wands in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person is viewing you like you rejected them, possibly for another person. Or this could also talk about you, you know, if this doesn't have to do with another, you know, person here, Virgo, this could be them viewing you as someone who's very spiritual, very intuitive, but at the same time going towards some type of false new start. You know, if you've been posting on social media, photos, comments, I feel like this person is sensing that you're doing it out of boredom or you're doing it to get some type of attention. Again, does not mean it's true. This is just how they're viewing you. Tell me about the six of wands in reverse. I feel like a sense of a false start here. I don't know, really weird energy. Ten of wands in reverse. They could be viewing you like, you know, trying to get away from some type of burdens, trying to get away from hectic energy and seeking more calmer waters. But at the same time, it's like they could be viewing you like you're avoiding some type of confrontation or avoiding um, a situation, a problem here. Very interesting messages. Yeah, they view you like there was unfinished business here with the death card in reverse Scorpio energy, possibly having some type of regret or disappointment. Let's go ahead and move on to their current feelings for you. Let's see, what is this person's feeling for Virgo? Tell me more about this person's feelings for Virgo. feelings for Virgo. High Priestess again. Eight of Cups in reverse. You know what? I feel like you and this person may be communicating through dreams telepathically or like, I don't know. Like I feel like you two are connected energetically. Let's see. Give me one more. What is this person's feelings for Virgo? Yeah, this person definitely is having a very difficult time walking away from you. Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords in reverse. I feel like this person is having a lack of peace right now. They don't have peace in mind. I don't know why I'm feeling that. But with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, this person may be feeling like they can't offer you anything. Or this person is having a very difficult time walking away from this or leaving this connection behind. Let's see, tell me more about the Eight of Cups here. Three of Wands in reverse. You could definitely be at a distance from this person. This is them wanting to get out of the stagnant energy. Tell me about the High Priestess. This person's feelings for Virgo. King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you two are not communicating or maybe you guys said some harsh things to each other this person could have said some harsh things nine of cups i feel like this person's being, being very prideful right now not wanting to make an offer or not having the courage to make you this offer eight of wands but they want to communicate because i feel like this person's lacking peace they want to tell you something tell me about this eight of wands why is the eight of wands here they're scared of rejection Two of pentacles, or they're weighing the pros and cons. Because the least thing that they want is to have conflict with you. They may be feeling like there's a lot of competition right now, or too many people getting involved. Or what would what will the family think? What will friends think? This person is trying to strategize, trying to uh, weigh the pros and cons about a communication here. Tell me about this person's feelings. Does this person still have feelings for Virgo? Too many. Does this person still have feelings for Virgo? The Magician. Yeah, they're trying to manifest a new beginning here. A reunion, a conversation. 
the nine of wands in reverse they're like ready to let go of the burdens page of wands yeah they want to send you a message yeah see the ten of swords in reverse because i feel like there was either unfinished business or they feel like feeling like there was a lack of closure in this connection or they just can't seem to accept an ending with you the devil card you could be dealing with a capricorn a lot of holding back energy though because again this person could be fearing rejection or you might already be in another commitment virgo or this could be or this person may already be in a commitment something around those lines or maybe things ended pretty sour or you know someone could have said harsh things distance could be an issue let's go ahead and take a look at the actions what actions does this person plan on taking towards Virgo? Tell me about the actions this person plans on taking towards Virgo. Got any choice break and clear messages. Page of Cups, there comes that offer. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Tell me about the action this person plans on taking towards Virgo. The Star card, Aquarius energy. I feel like this person still has hope that you two can work this out or have a conversation or have a new beginning here. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, finally um, not juggling or making a decision, coming out of that stagnant energy. Tell me more about this page of cups for the action. Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this has been weighing heavy on this person's mind. Wanting to reach out, wanting to have a conversation with you. Again, this person could be overworking themselves or overdoing things to distract themselves. Tell me about the star card. The magician again guys i can't make this up this person's manifesting you back here they're they are going to use all the tools that they have to get your attention or to um you know have some type of new beginning with you here gemini virgo energy tell me about the two of pentacles the fool card i feel like yeah here we go again with the page of wands this person wants to take a leap of faith here. They want to take a risk and communicate. Because this has been really, really weighing heavy on their mind. Uh, there's something they want to get off their chest here. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. What is making this person feel burdened? Why is the Ten of Wands here for the action? Ace of Swords. A conversation that they want to have with you. A truth. Clarity. This person's like tired of not having clarity tired of not having that conversation tired of uh the confusion the strength card they're finally getting that strength to come forward no longer holding back here the four of pentacles tell me more about this conversation communication clarity coming in here the wheel of fortune when you least expect it virgo I feel like this is destined to happen. Very, very unexpected. You will not be, I feel like this person's gonna randomly text you, randomly call you, maybe when they're out having a few drinks here, or you might even bump into this person at a, um, a family party, a, a gathering, some type of celebration. Or again, this could just be their energy of maybe when they had a little bit too much to drink, they might contact you. You might even bump into this person, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Queen of Swords, more communication coming in. So I do see this person communicating, wanting to have a union or a reunion with you. Strong communication. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Yeah, they want a new beginning with you. And I think this explains why the We Will Be Together Again card came out. See? I kid you not, Virgo. Look, I want to tell you how I feel. I literally felt the need to grab the card that was on top of the deck and this was up there. I want to tell you how I feel. I wonder if you're happy without me. I want you. You see, like, I can't make this up. Wow. So, again, Virgo, you know, if this not resonate, feel free to check the other placements. Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, 
Cancer, strong Cancer here. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Libra. Maybe another Virgo like yourself. Could be any sign though. Let's go ahead and move on to your general messages. General messages for Virgo. Let's see what comes out here for you. God, angels, Holy Spirit, give me clear messages for the sign of Virgo for June 2022. What can Virgo expect here? June 2022. Nine of Swords. Five of Cups. What's going on? What is going on here? Make sure you're not getting stuck in your head, Virgo. Let the past go. I see a little bit of anxiety here in June. Feeling regret, disappointment for things that didn't work out in the past. Spirit is saying, let that go. Stop blaming yourself. Yeah, stop blaming yourself. I see anxiety here, overthinking, blaming yourself, regretting, disappointment. Tell me more. June, what can Virgo expect here? Or this could be someone around your energy that's going to be feeling this way in June. But if this is you, make sure you, get, you break free out of that. Virgo, please. Ace of Wands, because you have a new beginning. Different deck. And look, Ace of Wands came out here again. You have a new beginning. Could be in regards to work, or it could be with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus here. Could be a new business, a new lover, a new job, a promotion, the High Priestess. Very intuitive at this time. This is something that's going to make you very happy. Something you've been wishing and hoping for is coming through here for you. Very strong in June. Tell me more. General messages for Virgo. Got interest in the spirit. Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A new idea, a new project, a new beginning here. You might be taking a new course. Learning something new. Starting something new. This could also be the energy of a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Stalking you, keeping an eye on you, seeing what, you, seeing what you're up to. Tell me about this Ace of Wands for Virgo, June 2022. The Fool card. Go for it. Okay? Go for it. You may be meeting an Aries. I don't know why I'm feeling Gemini. Maybe another Virgo, Capricorn. Leo. The Sun card. Could even be a Capricorn for some of you or a Taurus. A lot of major arcanas here. Whatever this new thing is. It could lead to marriage, it could lead to stability, it could lead to a lot of happiness. More, what can Virgo expect during 2022? Page of Pentacles. You could be meeting a younger Capricorn Virgo Taurus, or again, this is you starting something new. I'm picking up on a new project, something new when it comes to your finances, your work, your home, maybe your health. Something new here. Yeah, I see you working really hard, possibly getting a raise. Or a promotion, something around those lines. Some of you may be traveling or thinking about buying a new car or something about your car as well. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing, Virgo. Let's go ahead and move on to your angel number. You may have already been seeing this number. If not, pay close attention. The angels are trying to tell you something. What angel number do you have for the sign of Virgo, please? Sign of Holy Spirit. Give me your messages. Virgo. 24. I am generous. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. Very nice. And let's go ahead and see what crystal. If you don't have this crystal, it's okay. Feel free to write it down, screenshot it, Google it, see if I can help you manifest this month. Crystal for Virgo, please. Crystal for Virgo. Unikite and Ruby under the deck, the number 35 and the number 42 could be very significant. Passion, root, and sacral chakras, and live in the present heart chakra. Very nice, Virgo. But this was your love and general reading for June 2022. If it did not resonate, feel free to check the other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will talk to you soon.